All right, guys, this is the two gigabyte DDR2 GT630. That's a DDR2 for the older computers. It's two gigabytes. It's got DVI, HDMI, VGA. It's got basically all the good stuff you want, at least for the older computers. So this is the packaging right here. I just got it today. I'll show you how it comes. This is the packaging. See that guy? Pretty cool looking. Nice little fan there. Here's the the ports. All right. Then inside the package, you get a CD. This right here, the driver for it. So now it's time to plug it in and see how it works. Alright, so I installed the card. Before I started the computer, what I did was I unplugged the power cable right here. And then plugged this guy in first, the VGA cable. Then put the power in, then turn on the computer. And now I got something on my screen. I didn't do it like that before and it wasn't working. Now it is. Now I put in the CD, so I'm going to install the driver. And I'll keep you guys informed. Alright, so I put the CD in now. Then it shows me where the CD is, what's what's it's got a 32 bit, 64 bit, and then a Windows XP 32 bit. So we're going with the Windows 7 64 bit. I'll open that guy. Gonna run it as administrator. Alright, now it's gonna check for the system compatibility. So you let it run its course, do what it's gotta do. Now it says uh, license agreement, agree to that, you don't have a choice. Installation options, just going to go with Express. Now it's going to do whatever it's got to do here. Alright, so a few minutes later, it's all done. Go to restart now, so just get it over with. Let it turn off and do it. everything it's got to do. Alright, so... It gave me a little icon here for the GeForce experience when you click on it. It's going to give you a bunch of information here. You got something about games. Scan for games. You got some drivers. You got my rig. Guess you could optimize it or do some changes. Preferences over here. Now on the my rig, it's telling me the current resolution 1440 by 900 at 60 hertz. Memory is 6 gigabytes of RAM. It tells me the AMD Athlon. Windows 7, right? So it's basically telling me everything's going on here, and that's pretty much it, man. It's pretty cool. I use I use this for uh, my Corel Video Studio. The whole thing I wanted was this little icon right here. It says HD. Now I can improve the video qualities, so you can make some more videos for you guys.